morning friends and dear students i feel immense pleasure to be here for my course flight mechanics i am in the process of discussing about aircraft performance and i am in module 3 which is climb performance initially we have seen that the phases of the flight it moves from it moves from here if you see phases this is the take off this is the climb this is the cruise this is the descent loiter again descent this is the landing these are the so we have covered this is the cruise we have covered now we are in the climb climb and descent we have to because they are the this we are discussing now climb and we have derived some equations also now we will see some problems related to the climb before that i will go here uh, first i will describe my today's overview of the class that is discussion on climb performance calculate climb angle calculate maximum speed calculate time for the climb calculate highest climb rate these are the topics some problems in this five problems plus first is the discussion on the climb performance which i am going to discuss today so here we can see that we have here one i have made one aircraft here this aircraft is in climbing this blue line is here it is horizontal line the aircraft is moving in this direction of the v this line is a fuselage reference line and this is the thrust line here i have mentioned ta because it is a thrust available that is the importance here it is not the thrust required it is a thrust available if you see the lift is produced on the perpendicular to this v the direction of the flight and drag is in the same direction of the v in opposite in the parallel but opposite to the motion of the aircraft weight will always act perpendicular uh, it will always act towards the uh, earth it will make from here to here it is a gamma angle it is a flight path angle gamma is flight path angle it is the angle between horizontal and the direction of the aircraft then we have between v and the frl we have the alpha alpha is called the angle of attack the angle between relative speed of the aircraft with the frl it is angle of attack and there is one more angle it is alpha t it is the angle between thrust the ta and frl this is the angle between here from here to here this you can see just i am drawing here this is the alpha t this is the alpha angle of attack so this we have to understand first then i will go further first i will see the equation of motion for this climb so if i resolve this thing in the direction of the v so here if you see this drag d is equal to here ta cos alpha t in the v direction this is the force of this ta ta cos alpha t so it is equal ta cos alpha t ta cos alpha t so first you see the w so this w cos gamma minus ta sin alpha t this is the equation 1 in the direction of drag now if you see direction of the lift so this lift sorry it is we have to see in the direction of the drag so this is the drag is equal to ta cos alpha t this plus this w is in this direction 
W sin gamma. So here you will have T A cos alpha T minus W sin gamma. This is here in this direction you will have W sin gamma plus D. Okay. So if you go in another side you, you will get and this is the equation one. If, we, if you see the lift. So lift is equal to this is the W cos gamma. So lift is equal to W cos of gamma minus T A sin alpha T is equal to this is the second equation. So for the steady state for the steady state condition this d steady state will be t into cos alpha t means it is a thrust required. So we can write that now that if you see here this is the velocity v of this and if you take this is the horizontal component and this is the vertical component this vertical component is known as a vc climb velocity. So climb velocity or it is also called rate of climb that is vc is equal if this is the gamma vc is equal to v sin gamma. So this vc is equal to v sin gamma and this is the rate of climb. So now if we put in this equation number one the value of gamma. So from equation one, so here V C climb speed V sine gamma. So now this V C is equal to V into sine gamma from equation one. So what we will get from equation one from here sine gamma is equal to T A cos of alpha T minus D divided by W. So this value I have to put here. So T A cos alpha T minus D divided by W. So for a small angle, for a small uh, alpha T, if you take it is a zero, so cos alpha T is equal to one. So you can write here V T A minus D divided by W. Okay. So we this we can write here as a T A into V plus minus D into V divided by W. This T A V is a power available minus power required divided by W. This we can write as a power excess divided by W. So excess power divided by W. So this is the rate of climb and from here we can get the climb angle. So this we have to see here that now if you see about the power required. So this power required PR we have already this derived that this PR is equal to CD naught rho V cube divided by 2 W by S plus CD naught L into V plus 2 W by S pi E aspect ratio rho into V into W. This is the equation for power required. And if you see the plot for different this is the power available and this is the velocity so your power will be depend upon the different throttle condition okay so here if you see we have different throttle
okay so this is the 0. Point. throttle is equal to 0. 0.5 0. 0.6 0. 0.7 0. 0.8 0. 0.9 and the final i will write again this is the throttle is equal to 1 so as per this power available is this so as you increase the throttle your power available will be also increasing so this is the concept for power required power available which i have discussed now i will go for the problems and we will see how we can go ahead so a business jet aircraft with a mass of 12,700 kg and two turbofan engines, each generating a thrust of 23.7 23 kilonewton, is climbing with an air speed of 500 knot. If aircraft drag is 12,000 newton, determine the rate of climb and the climb angle. So we have to find out gamma rate of and then v c how high it can fly in two minutes and how much altitude in two minutes this we have to find out by the given condition so okay, we will see here that solution of this problem given is equal to thrust is equal to 23700 newton we have two air, uh, two engines drag is equal to 12000 newton weight is equal to 1200 12700 kg velocity is 500 knots we can make it in meter per second by multiplying 0 0.5144 so one knot is equal to 0 0.5144 meter per second this is the conversion factor always you should remember now we know the rate of climb is equal to t minus d into v by w. The thrust is because we have the two engines, so here it is 23700 into 2 minus it is 12500 into 0 0.5144 it is given here divided by your weight is 12700 into 9.81. Always this kg should be converted to Newton, so your weight will be 12700 into 9.81 newton always same unit should be there so now you can find out the rate of climb 36.55 it is a vc vc 36.55 meter per second so if you see here what is the vc this is the v and this is the horizontal velocity and this is the vertical velocity this is the vc we have got the vertical 36.55 meter per second this we got now we have to find out the climb angle and we know that rate of climb is equal to v sin gamma so sin gamma is equal to sin inverse rate of climb divided by v so here we have got the rate of climb here 36.55 so roc is equal to v sin gamma so gamma is equal to sine inverse rate of climb by v sine inverse 36.55 divided by 250 into 0 0.5144 so this gamma is equal to 0 0.288 radian or 16.5 degree because one radian is equal to 57.3 degree one radian is equal to 180 by pi you just convert using this technique so we can find out that now height how much height so we we know that v is equal to h by t so h is equal to v into t so here vc vc into t so h is equal to rate of climb vc into t two sec two minutes so two into second 36.55 it is vc two minute into second so you will get 4,386.7 meter or 14,392 feet. So the aircraft will climb 4,387 meter or 14,392 feet in one minute. So this is our answer. Here we will see some variation of 
climb angle and the rate of climb versus altitude. The plots are here. So here we have the altitude and this is the vertical line is altitude line and the horizontal is the rate of climb feet per minute. Here it is mentioned. So first one is the absolute ceiling. This is the absolute ceiling. It is th that height at which the ROC is zero. That is called absolute ceiling. This point. Another point is the service ceiling. This is the service ceiling. Okay, this height I am writing S here. This is the A and this is the C. So service ceiling service ceiling is the that height at which rate of climb is 100 feet per per minute this is the definition of the service ceiling your aircraft in this can go up to this height where it can maintain 100 feet per minute climb but at absolute ceiling there is no rate of climb another ceiling is known as a cruise ceiling cruise ceiling this is the ceiling at which the at which the rate of climb is 300 feet per minute so it is 2.5 meter per second this is the 1.5 meter per second no sorry this is the 0 0.5 meter and this is 1.5 meter per second so this is called the service ceiling this is called the uh, cruise ceiling so here we can see that this is the absolute ceiling where roc is zero now we will see the next problem the aircraft a is climbing with a speed of 200 knot and climb angle is 15 degree so the velocity of a aircraft i am writing va 200 knot and gamma a is equal to 15 degree the aircraft vb another aircraft b is speed is vb is 100 knot and climb angle gamma b is 30 degree so we have to find out the determine which aircraft has the highest rate of climb so roc we have to find out then determine the time to climb 10000 feet altitude of an aircraft a and b so how much time it is required to climb h is given ignore the variation of engine thrust with altitude so it is very simple we have to just use the equation for rate of climb and we know that as the highest rate of climb so we know that rate of climb vc is equal to v sine gamma so for a aircraft we will write the va so just we see here so the rate of climb roc a is equal to v sine gamma v is equal to 200 naught into 0 0.5144 into sine 15 so we will get here 26.63 meter per second that is 5242 feet per minute for the b aircraft rate of climb of b is equal to v sine gamma v is equal to 100 0 0.5144 into sin 30 25.72 meter per second 5063.4 feet per minute thus the rate of climb of aircraft a is higher than the rate of climb of aircraft b so if you see here it is 26.63 25.72 so aircraft a has more ROC than aircraft B. So that is the, now we have to find out how much time it is taking. So we know that VC is equal to H by T. So T is equal to H by VC. Here H is given 10,000 feet. 
we see we have find out this feet so 10,000 by 5242 1.908 minute and for the aircraft B this is for aircraft A it is 1.975 minute so aircraft aircraft A has is taking is taking lesser time lesser time than aircraft B. So this is the one conclusion which we can draw from this problem. Now we will see the problem number 3.3. .3. So here we have this problem that is 3.3. .3. Aircraft A is climbing with a speed of 180 knot and rate of climb is 2600 feet per minute. Aircraft B is climbing with a speed of 150 knot and rate of climb is 300 feet per minute. Which aircraft has the highest climb rate? Same way we have to find out VC. So we know that VC is equal to V into sine gamma. V is here 180 knot into 0 0.5144 into sine it okay sorry so we have to find out angle so vc is equal to v sine gamma vc is equal to v sine gamma so sine gamma is equal to Vc is given 2600 feet per minute and V is equal to 180 knot. Okay, so this we have to convert. So sine gamma is equal to Vc by V. This we have to find out and let's see how we can go about that. So the Climb angle is obtained by using the following equation. Rate of climb is equal to V sin gamma. So this gamma A is equal to sin inverse rate of climb by V. Sin inverse rate of climb is 2600 divided by 180 into 0 0.5144 into 196.85 that is gamma A is equal to 8.2 degree. Now for the aircraft B, this is for aircraft A, rate of climb is equal to V sin gamma. So YB is equal to sin inverse 3000 divided by speed is 150 into 0 0.5144 into 196.85. You will get 11.4. Here you will get 8.2. So the rate of the climb angle for aircraft B is higher than the aircraft A. Thus, the climb angle of the aircraft B is higher than the climb angle of aircraft A. So, this is the solution for problem number 3.3. Now, we will see the problem number 4. Aircraft A and B in the previous problem are just facing a mountain with a height of 200 meter and a diameter of 2500 2, meter, which aircraft can fly safely. So if you see 200 meter and this is 2500 divided by 2. So this is the gamma. So tan gamma is equal to 200 divided by 205,000 by 2. So 400 divided by 2500 tan gamma. So gamma is equal to tan inverse 400 by 2500 you will get the result. The aircraft must have at least a climb angle higher than 9.1. So you will get 9.1 degree. So the aircraft which can climb, which has this hill, which has got the climb angle more than 9.1. So in the previous case, we have seen that aircraft B has got more value. So if you see this 11.4, so aircraft YB is 11.1, 11.4. So aircraft B can 
be able to climb this hill aircraft a aircraft a will not able to climb the given hill of 200 meter height okay so this is the conclusion now the next problem i am just discussing the fighter jet aircraft boeing ff18 with two turbofan engines has the following features that is take off weight this this i think this i have already done in my previous class yeah it is already completed in my previous class okay so this i will not be touching in the next lecture we will be discussing about steepest climb there is a maximum climb angle variation of climb angle relation between climb angle and the rate of climb general equation of climb angle effect of altitude in rate of climb and the ceiling this i will be discussing in detail about in my next lecture the references of my this today's lectures are anderson jd airport performance and design international edition magra hills first edition airport performance theory and practices aia education series any questions you can ask to, to my this mail yd duvedi at the rate gmail.com any queries anything if you feel that it is not correct please write the comment send the mail i will try to correct it if you feel it is good do like and subscribe thank you very much for joining my this lecture we will be meeting you soon with another lecture till then goodbye and see you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates